The new Ground Tester 6417 app, distributed through the Google Play Store, enables users of the AEMC Clamp-on Ground Resistance Tester, model 6417, to work with their instruments from an Android device. This app provides a handy, mobile option for working with a Model 6417. Through an intuitive and simple interface, the app provides many of the same features available in AEMC's DataView, data analysis software, accessible through a handheld mobile device. The app also takes advantage of functionality provided by the Android platform, including the ability to add an add-on snapshot to a data record and email one or more records to others in report format. In this video, we briefly introduce the Ground Tester 6417 app. We then describe how to use this app to connect to a Model 6417, view real-time data, save a data record on the instrument, email records to another user, and view and change configuration settings on the Model 6417. The Clamp-on Ground Resistance Tester Model 6417 measures ground rod and grid resistance without the use of auxiliary rods. The instrument enables you to check the integrity of a grounding electrode system, measure leakage current into the grounding system, determine ground voltage as an indicator of a potential unsafe condition, measure resistance, impedance, inductance, current, and voltage, determine the bonding integrity of the grounding system, and store test results for later review and analysis. The Model 6417 is specifically designed to improve measurement accuracy, user safety, and operator ease of use. Users of the Model 6417 include field service engineers and technicians, inspection personnel, facility maintenance electricians, electrical utility staff, railroad maintenance engineers, and consultants. Typical applications include checking the grounding electrode system for residential, commercial, industrial, and other facilities, as well as cell towers and small substations. The Ground Tester 6417 app enables users to connect to a Model 6417 via Bluetooth. Once connected, you can view data currently being measured by the instrument in real time, Save measurement data in a record on the instrument. View previously stored data records. Change configuration settings on the instrument. And email test results. To use the app to connect to a Model 6417, Bluetooth must be enabled on the instrument. With the instrument turned on, check to see whether or not the Bluetooth icon is displayed. If not, turn the instrument's rotary dial to Setup, and then press the Hold key until the Bluetooth indicator comes on. Start the app in the Android device. At the main menu, choose Select Device. The Model 6417 to which you want to connect should be listed, along with any other Bluetooth devices the app detects. Select the Model 6417. When the connection is established between the app and the Model 6417, a check mark appears next to the instrument's name. Tap the Return icon to return to the main menu. With the instrument connected, you can now view data in real time. To do this, select Start Live Measurements in the main menu. The Select Location screen appears. This screen enables you to create location information that helps identify the site where the measurement is taking place. In our example, we will select Pick Location from existing tags and choose a previously created location tag. The data currently being measured by the Model 6417 now appears on the screen. Real-time measurements can be displayed as both numerical data, as shown here, and as graphical trends. To change the display from text to graphical, select the graph icon at the top of the screen. This changes the data to graphical format, displayed over a rolling period. You can pan left and right through the graph and zoom in and out to see short-term details or longer-term trends. You can tap the configuration icon at the bottom of the screen to display the plot settings dialog box to change the display period from its default of one minute. You can also pause and resume the recording using the icons in the lower right corner of the screen. To change the display back, select the text icon at the top of the page. 
Measurements can be saved in the Android device's memory as data records. Graphical data can be saved as a screen capture snapshot. To save a graphical display, locate the camera icon in the top right corner of the screen. A short tap of this icon saves the display as a snapshot. Touching the icon for several seconds allows you to add a comment to the record. The record now appears listed when you select the Display Snapshots option from the main menu. When you create a non-graphical text record, you have the option of saving it as a quick data snapshot, or you can include more detail by adding a descriptive comment and a photograph. To do this, display real-time data in text mode. At the bottom of the screen is the Save icon. A short tap of this icon saves the record as a screen capture snapshot. It will now appear in the Display Snapshots list. Touching the icon for several seconds displays the Save the Record screen. This enables you to add a comment to the record, as well as a photograph. After you save the record, it will appear in the Display Recorded Measurements list. A thumbnail of the attached photo appears in the lower right corner of the record. Tap this thumbnail to display the full photo. Records can also be formatted into reports and emailed to others for further distribution and analysis. These reports can be in text, Excel compatible, or data view ICP format. To do this, select Display Recorded Measurements from the main menu to display the stored records. In the upper right corner is the Report icon. Selecting this icon displays the Generate Report screen. At the top of the screen is the field Type of Generated File. Tap this field to choose the type of report to generate. In this example, we will choose ICP to view this report in data view. Next, type in the email address of the recipient of this report. In the main text field, you can add a description of the report. Note the report configuration icon at the bottom right corner of the screen. This enables you to add information about the data record, such as the operator who conducted the test, the site where the test took place, and so on. Complete the screen and tap the Save icon to return to the Generate Report screen. When you have finished with this screen, tap the Send icon in the top right corner to display the Send Mail dialog box. Choose the email system you want to use to send the report. In this example, we will select Gmail. Then tap Send to email the report. The report will now be sent to the addressee as an attachment. Since we sent this report as an ICP file, the recipient can open this attachment and view this report using the DataView GTC control panel. The report includes measurement data recorded by the instrument, as well as additional information entered via the Android device. Finally, the Ground Tester 6417 app can view and change configuration settings on the instrument. To do this, select Clamp Configuration from the main menu. This displays a number of settings on the instrument. Some of these can be modified, while others are display only. This concludes our brief tour of the Ground Tester 6417 app. The app can be downloaded free from the Google Play Store and is available in multiple languages. For more information about the Model 6417 instrument, consult this product page on the AEMC website. And be sure to check our YouTube channel for instructional videos on other topics in electronics, including the many instruments offered by AEMC. Mm -hmm.